Hey folks, how you doing today? We had a little, uh, we wanted to step up and our main mission today was to put in the 250 amp bus bar. But along with this, we wanted to head and have a master switch before it goes to the master, into the 250 bus bar. And then we also wanted to have a battery monitor connected up. So we did quite a few things today. Um, the first thing that we did was we went ahead and we took and created the master switch right here. 250 amps and it can handle. We actually took and drilled. If you guys need any help about drilling uh, holes with the hole saws and that, just leave a comment in, in the comments down below. I'll be glad to answer any questions and, and maybe even create a video for it. And this is just an on off master switch. Off, on, even has the battery. And then what we did was we, we drilled a hole two and an eighth. It should have been two and a sixteenth, but I only had a two and an eighth, so we improvised a little bit. And then I turned it around and then used the base that's inside of here as a template to go ahead and drill the four holes. Then we moved it upside, up top, and as you can see, we have the positive from the battery coming into this one end here. It's all connected down by bolts. Then we have the positive here leading through here to the bus bar. Our negative, which is leading from here, is going directly down here to our battery monitor in a 500 amp shunt along with the monitor right here which displays how much voltage and how much is going in, how much is going out at any given moment and uh, how, far, how much energy you got left. It goes in here and then it comes out and we loop it back up and it comes through here. The nice thing about this also is we went ahead and added this and in the back here we had to go ahead and take some drills. And Joseph, the uh, what is that right there? That? Yeah, the bus bar. Yeah, that's the bus bar. I tried to give you time. And you can see that there's two bolts back there. Nice and easy. We went ahead and screwed it, drilled the two holes and screwed it in. And then we went ahead bolted it in and as you can see here you can just undo this these are coming through and we went ahead and we made our own cables connecting up with that leads from the master switch and then from the shunt and we used a what did we use what is this over here Joseph that's the hydraulic crimper okay that actually helps us with the heavier gauge wire and uh, connectors and we can that easily can make the connection and then what else did we use christopher we used a couple socket sockets socket with the socket wrench pocket we used knife. a pocket knife to trim the wire a wrench a screwdriver screwdrivers and, and then we had the drill. And drill it was really very quick what we're going to do is we're going to explain later how to set this up it's the Renogy 500 amp battery monitor and we're, we're going to go ahead when we install this right up here so it's visible from the outside when we install it we'll go ahead and show how to set it up it's a, there's only like three or four settings and not very much to go ahead and set up and it's uh, easy just to do that this here we're waiting for the battery to come in well we're waiting to, with, with you all's help we're going to be having we'll be able to order the battery in sometime um, in the near future when we when we can, can can afford it we have this lots of extra wired cabling that's all going to be trimmed after we get the battery coming in well that's all we wanted to do is explain how we have the bus bar actually active now the battery is actually active 
and it's coming to a master switch so we have control total control of the whole unit turning on turning it off and then we have a well ample bus bar that can handle up to 250 amps the BMS here can steadily give 200 amps out no problem whatsoever thanks and you guys have a wonderful day today and um, don't forget to look at the links below and if you can help Go ahead and follow that link below. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.